This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Well, we're going to be dealing with nice conditions as we go through the evening hours. Partly cloudy skies. Winds stay in check under 10 miles an hour tonight and temps falling into the 30s. Breezy weather coming tomorrow and then downright windy on Wednesday. We have high winds watches posted now for portions of the area. We'll show you that in the morning in a moment here. Some showers are possible. Otherwise, we'll be a bit cooler for the weekend and maybe a chance of some snow. Models kind of all over the place. Almost 20 degrees above normal yesterday. Just eight degrees shy of our record for a high out there. Nothing in the rain gauge. Still holding about normal for December and over three and a third inches above normal for the year. Some clouds in the morning, 34 degrees. We'll clean those out by afternoon on the way home tomorrow and be in the low 50s. Very nice conditions out here as we go through the early evening hours. Temps in the low to mid 40s for uh, the eastern portions of the state. A pocket of some cooler air here in the sand hills where we're in the 30s. Otherwise, some of the warmest readings in the state right here in our area and over the border in Wyoming, 47, Torrington and Wheatland, 46, LaGrange, and here in Scotts Bluff. Winds generally under 10 miles an hour for most everybody, so no big dish issues with the wind chill right now as they're in the upper 30s and low 40s. Here's the high wind watch now that's been posted for Wednesday. It includes the Sydney area over to Kimball up towards Scotts Bluff and then the eastern and southeastern sections of Wyoming, Torrington, Pine Bluffs over to Cheyenne and Wheatland. Uh, this slightly lighter color already been upgraded to high wind warnings, but these high wind watches, we could have winds gusting to 60 miles an hour on Wednesday. So tonight, clear skies through the evening hours. We increase clouds a bit overnight as we get towards sunrise tomorrow. They thin back out and high lows tonight are going to be generally in the 30s. This is well above normal for lows this time of year here in our region. 35 in Albin and Torrington and Harrisburg, 33 in Bridgeport for tomorrow then. Sunshine to start the day. Any clouds should dissipate. And here is some of that wind. You can see it in the high country tomorrow. Uh, it is going to get uh, windy and push off the high country out into the plains by late tomorrow night. And notice as we get towards sunrise on Wednesday, here come the winds. And we could be dealing with a few rain showers possible at the start of the day on Wednesday as well. But primarily, we're going to be talking about very strong winds. Highs tomorrow in the low uh, 50s. A couple of upper 40s sprinkled around the region. Generally, though, for most of us here in the local area, in the low to mid 40s or 50s. Beautiful, beautiful day again tomorrow. And enjoy it because it's going to get windy, uh, especially late in the day tomorrow. 33 clouds on the increase tonight. Tomorrow in morning clouds and otherwise increasing winds late. 54, your high. And then here's that seven-day forecast, folks. Uh, that windy conditions on Wednesday and, again, maybe a morning shower Generally, though, we're going to be dealing with breezy conditions holding around through the end of the week. Highs mostly in the 50s, maybe near 60 on Friday, then back into the 40s for the weekend, that weekend before Christmas. Things looking generally uh, not too active, maybe some snow showers Saturday. Uh, all in all, though, things looking fairly dry, fairly benign uh, as we go through Christmas Day. Uh, we are seeing a pattern change, though, starting this weekend into a Christmas week. We'll have to keep an eye on maybe some possibility of some snow in there, but we'll keep an eye on that as we go through the next couple of days.